हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप एवरी वन ऑफ यू इज़ फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम्स आई एम योर मैथ्स टीचर मिसेस मोनिका शर्मा फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल ये स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डू द टॉपिक इक्विवेलेंट डेसिमल्स इक्विवेलेंट डेसिमल्स इक्विवेलेंट डेसिमल्स आर द डेसिमल्स विच आर हैविंग द सेम वैल्यूज इक्विवेलेंट एज द वर्ड इक्वी valent means equal value the decimal numbers whose value is equal same value yes equal value or we can say same value yes now how to find equivalent decimals if we add the zero after the extreme right digit in the decimal part then there is no change in the value of decimal number yes so here we can say we can find out equivalent decimal by adding or removing zero at the right side of decimal number yes here it means that when there is one decimal number for example we are having 2.3 we are having this decimal number and we have to find out the equivalent decimal of this so how we can find out the equivalent decimal if we put zero at the extreme right extreme right means after decimal this is the right hand side side yes so extreme right means at the last of the Uh, decimal number if we put zero then these both are equivalent decimals these both are equivalent decimals the value of these both is same these both are equivalent decimals yes if we put one more zero then these three are the equivalent decimals means after after the decimal if any digit is there and we put zero after that then the value of these will be same so these are called equivalent decimals yes this concept will be more clear when you will find out the equivalent decimals in exercise 7.3 yes here in this exercise you can see we have to find out the equivalent decimals of each of the following decimal numbers here first is 0.5 what will be the equivalent decimal of 0.5 yes here we are going to do exercise 7.3 equivalent decimals yes a part is here 0.5 yes its equivalent decimal will be 0.50 yes and one more we can write 0.500 yes these are the equivalent decimals in tino ki value same hai yes then b part is there 2.3 as already we have done this in the example 
2.3 the equivalent decimal will be 2.30 2.300 like this we can write the equivalent decimals only one also you can write and these two also you can write it's your wish you want to write one equal decimal value or you want to write two yes and it also depends upon the question yes the next is 4.01 the equivalent value uh, decimal will be 4.010 yes then in the d part uh, sorry in sum number 4 here the numbers are there 1 2 3 and it is 4 yes in sum number 4 0 0.95 equivalent decimal will be 0 0.950 yes in the same way sum number 5 is there 0 0.100 here we will do 0 0.100 if we put one more zero on the extreme of the extreme right of the decimal then we will get the equivalent next is 0 0.210 here it will be 0 0.2100 yes after that some number 7 is there uh, 9.500 yes then here equivalent will be 9.500 yes then after that 4.7 in sum number 8 it is 4.7 yes here we can write 4.70 one more we can write 4.700 yes like this now uh, it is the exercise in this exercise the concept is of equivalent fractions do the practice of this exercise and solve these sums in your fair notebook of maths so that you can better understand this concept okay thank you and uh, have a beautiful day ahead